be all conscious one coming at you. Beware of the male feminist. You know, guys, I can go on and on and on about the stuff that women do. We can make all kind of videos about female feminists, stuff they do, how they get over on guys, how they use the system, how they manipulate men. Um, we could talk about that all day long. But I'm going to tell you, the female feminist is not the biggest threat. The biggest threat is the male feminist. You know, guys, I just want to stop to let you guys know I really enjoy telling y'all stuff that I think about. I really enjoy it. I have had a very, very unique life. If my life ended tomorrow, I'm telling you, folks, I have lived a complete life. I have no regrets. Yes, I've made some mistakes, but I will not go back and change those mistakes because I have learned so much from those mistakes. I have been embarrassed. I've been humiliated. You know, I wouldn't change anything, though. It was all a lesson. I have so many stories I could tell you guys about situations I have been in with women, you know, with guys in the workforce, things people, you know, tried to do to get over on me and how I got revenge. And um, I mean, I love it. I, I love it. I would not take anything back. There's sometimes I do really sit back in myself and ask myself, man, who who the hell am I? This like I know I'm not like everybody else. Like when you just know I'm not these people out here. I got this skin suit on me. I got two arms, two legs, but I am extraordinary. You know, extraordinary. Male feminist is the guy who can try to pretend to be your friend, but all the while he's, you know, hating on you. He wants to be like you, but he knows deep down inside he can never be like you because he doesn't have, he didn't, he doesn't have, what I, what I have comes from the creator. For anybody to have what I have, you have to take a walk down that yellow brick ro road and, and go see the whiz because you, you don't ha you don't have it. So, you know, I believe people should just be themselves. Don't don't try to want to do what another man do or. You know, uh, look like another man. I don't have jealous. I don't. That's another thing about me, too. I like. I really don't have it like these jealous traits to me. Like I, I go out here, I see guys that look better than me, taller than me, got a better car than me. You know, um, I just, but I don't, I never, I, I'm so into myself. I guess I'm narcissistic in a good way. And I don't think I'm a narcissist because to call myself a narcissist, uh, nar uh, nar narcissist, I can't be a narcissist because a narcissist don't, doesn't know he's a narcissist. But the male feminist, that is a dangerous cat to be to be playing around with. And y'all guys listening to me, hopefully y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. He's an agent for the female feminist. He's he's like the spy. He comes in to see, see the female the female feminist. She can't go into the man's locker room. And hear all the, the real nitty gritty. But the male feminist can come into the locker room and then go back and tell the female feminist what's all going on. Just to just to just to just to get a pat on the head. Good boy. You did good. Here's here's a doggy bone. Fetch, Rover. Fetch. Arr. I mean, that's that's the male feminist. I mean, when you are a guy that's truly on your purpose and doing what you have to do, stand in shape, you know, doing everything the righteous way, you better look out for these male feminists. 
they out there. And it's a, it's a lot of them. I know it's a lot of them because if it wasn't a lot of them, I would I would have more. I would have a lot of uh, well, not a lot, but I would have more friends in my life if they weren't out there. So I'm not going to stay too long on this guy. I just want to let y'all know the biggest threat is not the female feminist. The guys you want to be careful of is the male feminist. That's who you want to be worried. That's who you want to be worried about. The female feminists, they're going to do what they're they going to do. I'm not even paying attention to them. They, they just they just hilarious to me. They are on a path to destruction. They are in that they're a crash test dummy about in sitting in that car with no seatbelt on either. I'm not worried about the female feminist. She's gonna play herself. She's gonna make a fool of herself in front of the entire world. And if the Lord do, doesn't get her back, he'll get her back by going to going to her children. He'll get her back somehow. But that male feminist who can come around me, who can come into the locker room, who can come places the female feminist can't go to get some dirt on me, that's that's who I got my eyes on. So I just want to say that y'all, y'all take care out there. Peace.